Yo, welcome to the farm. My name is Vosk. Uh, today we're going to be running through how much money I earned mining Bitcoin in the last 30 days, what my machine cost, take it to my Bitcoin mining pod, and uh, all that stuff. Uh, so it's been crazy. Yeah, I always lose. This is pretty cool. It's a plug and play mining farm. You can see I got all my miners in here, filtration system, stuff like that. Um, and it works. But just because this stuff's working, is it actually working out? Well, let's dig into it. So let's really start digging into the nitty gritty of all of this. I am utilizing seven Bitcoin ASIC miners. They're application specific integrated circuit miners. They're purpose built machines. All they do is mine the SHA 256 mining algorithm, or simply put, Bitcoin BTC. Bitcoin is the original cryptocurrency, it's the biggest cryptocurrency. Many would say that it is the best cryptocurrency. We are less than one year out now, which is crazy and official, uh, from the Bitcoin halving. Bitcoin halvings have predated all new all time highs and bull cycles in uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, or uh, maybe not all, but every halving leads to a new all time high, more or less. So myself and many others are very excited about it. I don't have some kind of killer electricity rate. It's why my end game is solar power. Uh, but I really just want to illustrate if you do want to get into this, that these are easy to deal with. You plug in power, okay, you plug in ethernet, and that's it, you're done. Of course, when you start dealing with more than one or two, uh, you're gonna have to figure out a place to put them and, and deal with that and so forth. Um, and I'm up here in the furnace uh, as I work on my new office. Uh, I'm gonna get that, you know, running over the next couple of days. I got an no AC in here. Oh, it's toasty. Got freaking poison ivy on my eye. Uh, I'm about to look like a pirate in here with an eye patch or something. So right now I'm still mining on Pegapool. They have been boasting to be the most profitable Bitcoin mining pool and they sponsored the channel. Uh, so, you know, that's cool. It's a really cool opportunity to be a full-time crypto miner and really, honestly, be a full-time crypto YouTuber as well. Uh, you know, it's busy, but it's fun. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin difficulty. I'll talk about that here shortly. Uh, but I added up all the numbers over approximately the last 30 days on my three Bitcoin mining accounts, which are all represented here on this mining pool. I broke off a couple of different miners here to make uh, a couple of video uh, reviews easy and I even asked Google to timestamp the date 30 days ago. So how much money did I earn mining Bitcoin, right? Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at that. So on my main account, I mined 0.0465 Bitcoin. On my secondary, I mined 0.007 Bitcoin. And on my third dairy, oh yeah, that didn't make sense, but why not 009? Bitcoin, totaling 0.0629 Bitcoin in the last 30 days, which equates to $1,657. I was projected to mine about $1,800 to $1,900 in Bitcoin. But what does it cost to get into machines like this? Well, there's been some good opportunities to get some pretty good miners at some pretty good prices recently. Uh, most notably, the most recent one to come out has been the S19K Pro at 136 terahash a second, and it's only consuming about 3,250 watts or 64, but uh, most of us use 3,250 for the expected power consumption for a miner like this. Uh, this is Crypto Miner Bros. They're a reseller. Uh, we got a coupon code VOSCOIN supports the channel if you punch that in and yourself uh, if you go and order some of those miners. You can, of course, go over to Bitmain's official web, sh web shop and order some miners there, but their stuff goes in and out of stock. For example, right now, you can buy an S19 for only $990. Pretty crazy price there or the S19 XP for 4,653. But normally when miners get this cheap, it <laughs> predates a new, much more powerful miner coming out. Uh, so the S19K Pro that I just showed you is gonna have much better efficiency per the power consumption, but dollar per terahash, I mean, this is cheap. This is some of the cheapest stuff we've ever seen. So head over there and check this out. Um, if that's still in stock as always things are rapidly changing what's crazy though is you could get into a similar setup as I have right now for about $8,000 if you were to grab these 
Uh, if you grab these other miners, I mean, you know, obviously your mileage may vary. Let's use the price point of 2,500 times seven. Uh, it's gonna be more towards $20,000 after you pay some tariffs and things like that. Uh, so realistically, I would say that my Bitcoin mining setup was seven Bitcoin miners. Uh, they're all different models because I like to grab different models to review them here on the channel, but it actually makes the mining farm side of it kind of annoying. Uh, but you know, pros and cons to both. But to illustrate my actual miners, right? So I've got the S19J Pro 120 terahash second. I've got the Canon 1346. And then I've got all of these different amp miners, including a lowly T19. All of these combined, again, it's about a $20,000 cost and it's earning almost $2,000 a month. So if somehow I had free electricity, which is always the dream and the goal, then I would break even in only 10 months mining the biggest and most stable uh, Bitcoin miner, but that's not the case. So it's costing me about $1,720 a month to operate these miners. So I actually realized a small loss. Talk to an accountant before you do this, but I operate as a business, uh, so my electricity is an expense right uh so that is helping me in this equation but if this was my only income well it's just simply a losing business fortunately i have altcoin miners that are very profitable i also have other aspects of the boss coin business that earn money uh so i'm thankful for that and i leverage that at the same time against say mining at a slight loss for bitcoin here um and i'm playing a long-term game with the having only 353 days away and Bitcoin down 62% from its all time high, I'm pretty optimistic and I'm pretty excited and I dare say I'm pretty bold. If you're looking for an easy way to earn passive income with a computer, then look no further than the Evergreen Miner. It utilizes hard drives. It has an easy to use app that will help you get set up quick, but it also lets you manage your coins from the app. The coin you mine is easy to trade on numerous cryptocurrency exchanges. So if you just want to put dollars in and take dollars out, easy. Me personally though, I'm hodling because I think the upside's there on the miners and the coins. Link in the video description below, but don't forget to input the code VOSCOIN to save some coin. Looking long-term, I'm hodling almost all of the Bitcoin I'm mining and the Bitcoin I don't hodl, I'm spending on Bitcoin tokens and Bitcoin fees, doing transactions and things like that. I am not selling my Bitcoin, I am paying my electricity out of pocket. So now that my mining farm operation is ramped up a little bit, it has enabled me to get a little bit of a better electricity rate. So if you're wondering how much do I pay for electricity, right now, if I round up, it's about 10 and a half cents or it's actually about 10.4 cents. Not that great. I have a better rate on the horizon with three phase electricity, but I'm still about a year out from that and I'm going back and forth with my electric company that has a monopoly in the area. Of course, again, I do want to, to deploy a solar powered mining farm setup, but that's a huge endeav endeavor, very capital intense, and I'm just trying to wrap up all my existing projects before I embark on another absolutely insane one. Uh, so that's my current situation. Fortunately, my mining farm earns much more than it burns, overall do again to my altcoin mining rigs but the bitcoin side of the operation is actually losing me money uh again i'm playing the long-term game and uh i think things will work out well in the in in the end uh among many others because uh if you didn't know this bitcoin difficulty chart right we pull that up and tell me what you see you see an all-time high Bitcoin is more difficult than it has ever been before uh, to mine. So yeah, um, literally me and everyone else uh, actually in the mining game are betting on a very fruitful endeavor, optimistic future, whatever you wanna classify that as. There are of course other potential expenses if you wanna nitpick, right? You know, we're operating out of the digital shovel mini pod. I'm building an immersion mining shed most likely uh, and a couple other mining endeavors and I've had previous mining sheds over the years and mining in my basement, my bathroom, and of course uh, the garage. Uh, so, you know, really when it comes to it, it's not as black and white as just buying a machine and plugging it in. You need to have the appropriate electricity. I'm not trying to shill Bitcoin mining or mislead. It's actually more beneficial for me if you never get into Bitcoin mining. But I love this stuff. I think it's fun. And I personally think the more people that get into Bitcoin mining makes Bitcoin more resilient 
anti-fragile and that creates more value which in turn should lead to a more valuable btc uh so in the end it all works out for me and everyone else talking about it uh because if you thought bitcoin was so cool and you kept it to yourself then nobody would know nobody would care no one have no value uh, obviously there's two sides to a coin but there's only one side to the subscribe button so i hope you punch it as hard as you can and stick around here on the boss coin uh, youtube channel if for no other reason than our cvo that's our chief bitcoin officer here at boss coin tails our leader our key leadership team and also my employer so i gotta talk good about it right uh so as always thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and the recap just breaking down some basic numbers looking at the nitty gritty of it all uh there is one thing here uh, that i did want to share with you just for reference in the last 24 hours uh bitcoin has emitted 23 million dollars in new bitcoins mined and i've talked about it in other videos but just to make a point here in this video ordinals bitcoin tokens brc20 tokens stuff like that are the first thing ever in bitcoin history adding just actual value uh, to the chain as a platform and is actually finally having a tangible interesting realized increase in profit in bitcoin mining profitability because every bitcoin transaction anything that happens on bitcoin there's an associated transaction fee and 100 of transaction fees go to miners for processing the blocks running the transactions running the blockchain and so forth so pretty freaking cool and pretty exciting and really just looks good for the long-term viability of bitcoin if we can deal with the whole scalability issue so it's never a dull day especially if you subscribe so you better thanks again for watching i'll see you on the next video